I'm Kevin Hart, and this is season five, and we are back to the locker room. And this is the biggest season yet, which is highly offensive to everybody that was on this show before. Mm-hmm. Guys, come on, where's the guest? You know how stupid I look when I come out like this with my hand out? Ready to shake your hand, and I got no hand to shake? I look dumb. Very dumb. Nobody. The hell is that? I got a knife. I don't. But I got nails. <sighs> Some habits go hard to break. Yeah. Ooh, wow. Uh, mm. The Undertaker. Wow. <clears throat> okay, I'm gonna uh, put my robe up. Ooh. Just take a second to go get some toilet tissue and wipe my ass. Mm. Time to do an amazing show. Ladies and gentlemen, I got the pleasure of having a WWE superstar on my show, The Undertaker. Cold as balls. Let's yep. get into it, man. Well, you already in the tub. How long were you down there? I don't know, about 10, 15 minutes, I think. 10, 15 minutes. <sighs> Well, that's what it felt like. Yeah, man, this is uh, a moment where I gotta try to act like I'm not scared. Because you, sir, well, I'll be honest with you, you are probably one of the most scariest individuals that I have ever followed. I used to try to pull off the Undertaker's moves when I was in school, the whole choke slam, every, right there. That's huh? it, right Gave there. him the stare and everything. Hmm? Did you give him the eyes, the uh, whole bit? I get this, this is what it was right here. Uh-huh. Hmm? That's how it starts. Right there, boom! Broke his back. First Shattered. kid. First kid in school to ever get his back broke. Mm. What's crazy to me is that, you know, if there was a top five, you definitely have to fall into the conversation of top five to ever do it all the time. Well, I, you know, that's, that, that's really generous and I appreciate, I appreciate that, you know. I think one of the big things is the, the fact that I stayed there nonstop for 30 years. I was told in a different company that uh, no one would ever pay money to see me wrestle. So that means wow. you're not gonna put asses in seats. Mm -hmm. So that pretty much told me, you know, where my ceiling was, and uh, I, I wasn't ready to accept that. Mm -hmm. I always looked at it like Vince is the guy that gave me my shot. So I'm gonna ride this I'm shit ride with, him. with him. I'm gonna what? ride with him. Yeah. What was it that at the 30th year that was different from anything else? Was uh, it the time? Was it the wear and tear on body? What was it that made you go, all right, you know what, this is it. It's time for me to stop. In my mind, I wanted to do it, but in my heart, I still wanted to do it but I realized my body couldn't do what it used to do. How uh, how bad with the wear and tear? How many injuries uh, throughout so your career? The, the injuries, I couldn't even put a number on. The really? surgeries, I've had um, I've had upwards 17, 18 surgeries. Wow. Too. Everybody feels like you know, they got to give that disclaimer right mm -hmm. away. You know? mm -hmm. That's not real, is it? Like, well, it's real enough to mm -hmm. cause 17 surgeries. You know, what people don't realize is that in the course of a match, you're only a couple of inches away at any given time from something really from catastrophic. something bad happening. Yeah, that two inches is a really great night or a really, really bad night. Before becoming the big WWE superstar that you are, uh, I want to know how that became a thing. I was in college at the time. I was a basketball player. Oh, really? Yeah. Wow, okay. And uh, my coach starts getting some inquiries from, from European teams, pro teams. Okay. You know, at 21, Lithuania, you know, being, being, the, being the last guy on the end of the bench in Lithuania, it doesn't sound real, real appealing to a 21-year-old, right? So I meet this guy at the gym. He said, I'm going to go to wrestling camp. I'm going to become a professional wrestler. Mm -hmm. He said, man, you got to go through this camp with me. You got to go through this camp. And uh, one thing that I'm noticing, the guys that are my size, like, you know, 6'9", they're huge guys, but they don't move real well. Mm -hmm. So I started thinking, I was like, well, so at well, the time, I was, I, I was, you know, I was yeah. fairly athletic, yeah. right? So I'm thinking maybe, you know, so I kind of start weighing things out. I end up going to meet this guy that's going to train. We go and sit down and- he sold you. Sold me on it. Nice. Take a little second just to pay some bills. White hand, please. Oh, okay, here's a doozy right here. The Dragon Blast Holiday Pack. Smell ready for the holidays with Old Spice. Nailed it. Just a show you there it is look at that hmm imagine going into your to your boyfriend's bathroom and seeing that <clears throat> quite the doozy i bet <sighs> all right 
Here we go. I don't want to interrupt you, brother, yeah. but why am I the only one in the ice? I have never done this before, but I'm going to get in, sir. It's not because I'm scared, mm. right? No, not at never all. Never have I ever jumped in the tub faster. Mm. And it has nothing to do with The Undertaker being here. <laughs> uh, so at some point, you know, it's about the changing of the guard, mm -hmm. right? Did you have any of those moments? Definitely, I think one of them would be your buddy, mm -hmm. The Rock, way back in the day. You could tell he was right there on the threshold. And we we were in a match on Monday Night Raw, a um, bunch of different things going on. He got kind of screwed up and uh, I had to audible. Audible meaning that you had to, I had you had to, change to do a things. change. I'm the tenured vet there, right? And I remember telling him, I was all right, kid, it's your night. And, uh, you know, he hit me with rock bottom and beat me. And wow. uh, it was just, it was the right thing to do for business. Wow. I told Vince, I said, look, I said, we were in trouble time wise. He said, anytime, you know, I, I trust you. When you talk about life after, <clears throat> what does the Undertaker do now yeah. on, a, on a day to day? Just learning how to be dad you know how nice. how to 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 be a, a better human being mm -hmm. and, and and you know those are the things that that are more important to me now than anything are any of the youngest are any of them fans and involved <laughs> into your world oh my gosh oh. I, my, I have a nine-year-old little girl <laughs> who can tell you more about wrestling than i can are you serious oh my gosh so a few years back i'm wrestling john cena right mm -hmm. and it's going to be at wrestlemania Okay. So we're doing this thing on TV where Cena is just bad mouthing me, right? Every week he's trying to get me to to to, to wrestle him at Mania, and I don't want a part of it, right? My daughter loves him. My daughter loves Cena. So we, you know, eventually we have the match. Okay. Right? She's sat in front row with her mom. It was a real quick deal. I, I squash him in like five minutes, mm -hmm. right? I just kick the shit out of him, drop him on his head, <laughs> pin him, you know, and I pin and I pin him, right? And I'm looking, you know, and I'm looking at my daughter, looking for that. That you know, like yay, 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 right? And she's giving me this, <laughs> and I'm like, "What the hell is that?" Right? So they come back after I, you know, I go backstage, and and she is just distraught. And I'm like, "Babe, what's what's wrong?" And she's, "Well, Dad, I'm I'm happy you won, but I'm really sad John lost." Oh, right? Oh my god! So oh my god! It, it gets better. I said, "I've got to go. I got to go get John." I said, "John, you, you got to come, come talk back. to my you daughter." Come back here. I don't know how big this is. Well, f you, man. You just. <laughs> You just kicked the shit out of me in the ring. No. I need you, buddy. He was really good. You know, he goes, okay. I said a lot of bad things about your dad. I deserved it. I'm okay. But, you know, I did say a bunch of bad things. She, she, she was okay with it, but yeah. Uh, what the f Hey! God damn it. It's oh, Jesus. Oh, God, I don't even want to turn around. I don't even want to turn around. I don't want to turn around. I know what it is. Ah, oh, Jesus. Yep. I knew it. I'm sorry. Such a great conversation we were having, and then... Okay. All right, guys. Can you f speed it up? Bam! Daryl! Druids don't move fast. Okay. I'm... Okay. Okay. What are you doing? Mm. What in the exorcist bad movie is going on with you, Bam? Put your tongue in your mouth. Bam! Mm. I'm, I'm sorry. What you're doing is offensive. <laughs> it's offensive. <laughs> it's not what he did. And I don't know what the hell you're doing. Just you just sleep. Get your, wake your ass up. Wake up, Daryl. God damn it. Uh, 90s. Early 2000, social media was not what it is today. It would have been very difficult for me to do things the way that I did them with social media along the whole way. Absolutely. You can't walk out on the street without somebody taking a picture and posting it, right? No. Even though I live this gimmick. I mean, every t if you saw me in the airport in 1992, I can promise you, I was dressed in black, mm. you know? because I, did, I wanted people to always feel like, whether they thought I was alive or dead, a zombie, whatever yeah, they thought, I wanted them. Is. He is not right. I don't know if you noticed about me or not, but I actually, you know, I, I, I thought about it just from a career standpoint, because I was really good. You know, the big thing, what are you doing? 
What are you doing? What are you doing? This ain't Chippendales. You better not. Oh, God. Mm. All right. Well, well, if I've never seen a reason to end a goddamn show in my life. Oh, he's flexing, too. It's here now. What are you, what are you doing? He Why do you have on a singlet? Huh? Okay. All right. Do you, what are you? Bam. What are you doing? Wake up. Wake your ass up. Go, go, go over there. Go over there and put a, put a robe or something on and cover that mess up. <clears throat> Both of you out here selling <laughs> Ain't nobody buying it. Ain't nobody buying it. <laughs> Ain't nobody buying it. Both of you. <laughs> All right. Well, I, 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 don't, I don't know what just happened, but I have one more question. Hard-hitting question. Oh, here we go. Okay. I want to know the Undertaker's <clears throat> Mount Rushmore of the WWE. Mm. Okay. Andre? Andre the Giant. Stone Cold. Stone Cold Steve Austin. Rock. Dwayne The Rock Johnson. And I'm going to go with Shawn Michaels. Shawn Michaels. Mm -hmm. That's a hell of a goddamn Mount Rushmore right there. Uh, let's end this episode with a bang. We are going to thumb wrestle. <sighs> Why would I have The Undertaker on here and not have an opportunity to take him down? I haven't lost a thumb match in almost 15 years. <laughs> Something cool. else I'm doing at the church leave, by the way. Uh, oh, that's right, we got costumes. Uh-oh. Mm -hmm. What you got? Well, the name of my guy is uh, the construction man. Well. He got he got his own hat. Yeah. Ain't this a b All right. Okay, so in the ring, right? In the ring. Here okay. we go. In the ring. And it's real easy. I told you we go one, two, two. and on three we'll start. But make sure you put your hand and bam, down. You guys are watching too, right? Start there. Okay. One, two, three, pin. There it is. All right. I did it again. Somehow I managed to take down The Undertaker. You saw it. You saw it. Bam! Like it was nothing. Somebody's finished. I don't want to do... Well, what I want to do is... Maybe, <sighs> do, we, do we want to do it again? Do we want to? Why well, yeah, hurry up. Is that the belt? Is that the thumb belt? Well, let me just... Here you go. I was going to take this to celebrate, but why don't you hold on to it? You hold that. And, uh, yeah, just... You can hold it. And I'll take... Uh, bam! Is that the real belt? No, don't you bring it over here. Don't bring it over to me. Uh-uh, I don't want it. Uh-uh, just give it to him. Don't get that belt to me, baby. Man. Okay, well then we'll share it. Then we will share it. Me and my tag team part, no. Bam. See, all right. Oh, oh, God. Oh, it's who? I'm... Who is it? Oh. Is that Gary? Is that my cousin Gary that's been in the back? No, bam, get off. Oh, oh, Daryl. That ain't good. Oh, Daryl. Oh, God. Oh, man. Mm. R.I.P., Gary. There's been another episode as cold as balls, and uh, I tell you what. Oh! Oh, God. Cut the lights back on. Mm. Well, that's my cue. Right. Well, good <clears throat> up, guys. Ben, you hold that. Uh, hold that there. I'm going to go ahead and get my car. Get the f*** out of here, everybody!